This plot of land on the corner of North Morgan and East Jefferson Streets may not look like much now, but by next year, it'll be where Addie and her son Lucas call home. I've just my, been going crazy thinking of all the different things going on, you know, what color schemes and just, <laughs> I can't even imagine all the work that's going to have to go on. And Addie and Lucas currently live in a duplex, and even though Lucas is still young, she can already feel them outgrowing the space. Kind of iffy neighbors, you never know what's going to happen with the parties and things going on upstairs. Just not the best place for a two-year-old to be. That's why she attended Habitat for Humanity's informational meeting on home ownership. I was selected for uh, to fill out the formal application, and they came and did a home interview, and after a a lot of decisions we are selected. What people don't realize about Habitat, normally they just think that, you know, we give away houses to people that, you know, have hardly any income and really need it, which in fact we actually give them away to people that um, do need houses, but they are still able to, ha you know, have a minimal level of income but are able to repay a mortgage. Addie will be required to pay the entire mortgage, but it'll be interest free. She's also required to work 200 hours on habitat projects, mostly on the construction of her own home. It's going to help us tremendously. Um, he'll be able to have a place where we can actually call it a home and he'll have a backyard to run around. And I never imagined imagine this to happen for me and him. Well, believe it. Construction on Andy's home will begin within the next two weeks. Kristen Aguirre, KHQA News, Rushville.